guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Friday Knits. I'm Phoebe and I haven't been here for a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. I haven't done a lot of YouTube videos this year. This year I've been focusing a bit more on my patterns and stuff and other stuff. Yeah, it's been a while since I've come on here and I just thought I would um, drop in and let you guys know what I'm up to. The main thing is I'm still hoarding yarn. That's a thing still and my whole like trying to use up my yarn and um, before buying new yarn is just, it's not working out. It's not happening at all. So I've just got more yarn to show you. I'm like, I may as well show you and like, I'll like tell you what I'm going to like make with it or else I'll just like sit there and say it's so pretty and hold it to my face. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. If you guys have been following me on Instagram as well, um, definitely go check out my Instagram. I'm going to point. I don't know which side I'm going to do it on yet, but yeah, go check out my Instagram. I did recently come back from a trip, so if you did follow my Instagram, you'd see I was on a trip for the last about six weeks or so. It was really awesome. I went to Paris and I went to London. Didn't go anywhere else. Um, we were in Paris for about 10 days, and I still feel like I didn't see all of Paris. And then I was in London for about a good four weeks or one month or something like that and that was really amazing as well that was it was really great so obviously while there I did get some yarn I looked at all the yarn shops and yeah I have some here to show you now in my bags I also have yarn that I ordered that I got when I got home like I ordered before I left and then that didn't arrive till I got home so I got those to show you as well and I also went to a market earlier this year and it was a Bendigo wool market wool or something. Anyway, I went to that and I got yarns from that as well and I think I may have done like an Instagram thing but I didn't really do a thing but I've got it here as well because I completely forgot about it until I got home like what is this bag of yarn and then that's what it was. So I'll show you guys that as well. Alright, I'm just going to go in and start talking about my yarns. So I went to, also yeah, none of these are in any particular order. I'm just, I sort of just put it all together. So uh, the main yarn shops I went to was in Paris. I went to one called Lil, Lil Weasel and it was really, really lovely. It had beautiful hand dyed yarns, just like a little shop down near somewhere. Um, I don't remember by now. It feels like it's such a distant memory, but it was, you know, it was only like two months ago, but I'm trying to remember. It was just in there like a whole lot of little shops. Um, but I did get some yarn from there. I think this is what I got from there. It, I don't know, it's got French on it. I think these are what I got. Or maybe I got one of these from Paris and then the other one I bought in London or something like that. But either way, it's the same brand. It's La Bien Amy, which is beautiful. And I got these fluoro colors. Um, so I made like a fluoro pink hat recently and then I was like, oh, I'm going to get these fluoro colours as well because I just, I love fluoro at the moment and I think it looks really good mixed with like other sort of colours. Like if you work with like mohair, like having like that little pop of colour is really nice. I've seen a lot of patterns recently that have sort of like... Kind of like, kind of like what I'm wearing now where it's um, like a top or something and then you've got a little like stripe of fluoro or something like that or you've got a little piece of just like a brighter colour against like some more muted colours and I really like that. This is, um, I'll get into this later if I remember. But this, these two, yeah, I got and my idea is I'm going to make more beanies with this. Um, I did make one beanie already, it's over there. I'll, I'll show you guys later also stuff I've made but yeah this is for a beanie I reckon beanies maybe I'm saying this now I probably won't make a beanie I'm just gonna say I'll tell you guys what I'm gonna make with these so I'm gonna be like yeah this is what I plan on making with it but it's most likely gonna sit there for a very long time till I get around to it and then I'll be like why did I buy this I have no idea and then I'll make something else with it but the reason I bought them was because I wanted to make beanies at the time, so that could change. But yeah, these are both four ply weights. This one is a merino super sock yarn. I don't know if you guys, 
yeah, it's super sock. Um, that's about it. And it's just, yeah, merino. This one is a bit softer. It's the same. It's four ply or fingering weight. And this one's a cashmerino yarn. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's a cashmerino. And it is, it's a lot softer than this one. Like, yeah, I think you can sort of see it's a bit fluffier on the top there than this one. But they are both like beautiful colours, such beautiful colours. And I really love orange. I actually, orange is like a favourite colour of mine. So this is a tote bag from Loop. So in London, there's a really amazing yarn store called Loop Yarns. It's quite big. It's like two or three stories. They have a whole range of really great yarns. And none of those yarns are in here. I've put something else in here. The yarns are in here probably. Um, yes. So I got this beautiful... <sighs> Guy, look at that fluoro pink. Like it's oh, like look at that color. It's so nice. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm so mesmerized by it. Woo. But this is the King uh, Ching fiber. I still say King fiber. It's probably Ching fiber. It's a cashmere and silk yarn, and it's a lace weight, I would say. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a bit of a lacy weight, like it's a, bit, it's a lot thinner there. Um, it is so soft. So, like, I love... So, I started, like, a bit of a mohair thing where I just really love mohair. And now I... And then after that, I discovered Suri yarn like Suri alpaca silk yarn or whatever and now I've discovered this and I think this like wins out of everything in the world because it is so soft so beautifully soft so this yarn I bought two skeins and I plan on holding it together with a hot pink yarn I have I'm gonna go get it so this is one I bought earlier this year at another festival not festival like a show, a yarn show thing, but it's a it's Melbourne City Dye Works, and this is their hot pink. Uh, it's called something. I don't know what it's called. It's number seventeen. It says on one of the sides here, but yeah, I'm going to hold it together with this. This is a fingering weight four ply, and yeah, I'm going to make a um a nice like fluffy sort of cardigan. Kind of like 90s style, um, think like, uh, like Clueless sort of deal, like um, I think she wears like a vest in that or she wears those like cute little cardigan things, something like that. I'm kind of thinking of like Julia Roberts in, what's that movie, My Best Friend's Wedding, where she's telling the other character that she like loves him. I know that top isn't fluffy but like I love the style so I'm thinking of something like that and making it like really it'll be like a really nice soft and it'll be like a nice pop of color sort of deal yeah but that's the plan with that so what else do I have here those I got from loop yarns I don't know if I said that already this one is again king fiber ching fiber it is grass colored fingering weight yarn I was when I was in London, I was so obsessed with finding this brand because they're obviously a London brand and I, I love it and I'm into hand dyed yarns and so I was like obsessing finding this yarn. Um, but when I went, I think um, most of the stores were sold out because everybody be buying it. And also online, she just had a, a sale so I missed the sale and she's not restocking, like she's restocking now while I'm here and I'm like, oh. But anyway. This is, yeah, a grass colour and I started making, oops, I started making this top with it, a nice summer top. It's going to be a tank top because when I was actually in Brighton in the UK, we stayed at this Airbnb and then I, and then we packed up and then went to London and I actually forgot a tank top that I had there. It was like a white tank top, but I was like, ah. Oh, 
I'll just get another one and then I'm like why don't I just like knit another one and this is what I was working on mostly when I was in London was this tank top so yeah I've done most of it and now I'm going to continue it I think this might be my next pattern I'm working on but that's sort of still in progress but yeah this is the grass colored of the Ching fiber whoops um and then I got all of these just one skeins of these things more ching fiber I loved so all of these are just uh, mostly for I probably should have said this at the beginning these are all like four ply yarns mostly I'm really into thinner yarns now lately um when I was like starting chunky yarns are like the way to go and I think it's just because it's a lot easier when you when you're learning to knit but now I've like done all the chunky yarn stuff I kind of want to do like thinner yarns and make more things that um I can't even explain it. I just want to make things with thinner yarn. Like it takes a lot longer, but I think like the end result's pretty worth it. I really like working with it. So anyway, so this is soft lemon. Um, and you can see I really liked the sort of fluoro pop here and then the little like pinks in here. And then it's just like a more muted colors here. So that's sort of why I chose that one. This one is called Jazzy, so it's like a pastel-y sort of deal, but then again there's like a pop of fluoro there. There's like these beautiful pinks and blues and peaches as well, so I really loved that. Ooh, I got this in that same cashmere, cashmere yarn. This one's called Shusui. Shusui. Can't say it. I'll just show you guys. But when I bought this, I thought I had like the four ply version of this, um, but I do not. Not now that I'm home, I don't think I do. Maybe I'll find it in this because I haven't really like sat down with all of my yarn to have a look at it. But yeah, that's that beautiful color. So this one here is a sporty singles by Hedgehog Fibers. I love the packaging on this I don't know that really gets me like the um the shiny sparkly thing but this one's called foam and you can see it's got like it's very beautiful pastel it's very similar to the other one um that one no maybe that one they're kind of similar these ones but they're not the same but Again, one skein of this. Um, what am I going to make with this? No idea. What am I going to make with any of these? I don't know. I only bought one skein. And I like said to myself, why do you only buy one skein of things? I don't know. But probably more of those like summer tops or summer crops or something. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, another one skein. This is... Should... I can't pronounce it I'm so sorry I'll pop it up here for you guys to see um and it is a super wash merino and nylon so it's a sock yarn um, and it feels very beautiful and soft and again it's got these beautiful pinks and blues it feels like a marshmallowy cloudy unicorn -y thing going on here so I really like that that and this one I bought two skeins. Now I don't remember where I bought this from. I don't know if I had these before or after. I really don't remember. But here they are. These are a beautiful like blue colour because you know it's so different from these ones. Um, yeah, this one feels more like an oceany. It's called Ohana. So that's nice. That that's why it feels like oceany. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's this beautiful. That one's gone a bit out, but you can sort of see those other colours inside there. So I think that'd be nice. I don't know, maybe it would be nice to like hold these yarns together and make something. The other yarn shop I also went to while I've got this is Beautiful Knitters in Plim Plimlico. 
in London. It was really, really lovely and the people there were really nice. I think I need a coffee. I'm like, I feel like I'm like suddenly just like draining out and I can't even think of like what to say, but anyway. So I got these from uh, Beautiful Knitters. I just said it. Knitting for Olive. <sighs> Finally got my hands on some Knitting for Olive. This is a cotton yarn. I think it's like a blend. Let me have a look. Oh, sorry. It's extra fine merino. Completely got that wrong. Again, got this for summer. Probably make some sort of top with it. I was very aware that I was going into summer here. So I wanted to get summer yarns for here. And that's why I've got that. So these yarns here I got at a the Bendigo Festival. More of the Qing Fiber. Beautiful green and it's got little orange spots in there. And it's got little black spots as well. I I don't know how I feel about like little speckles on hand dyed yarn. I think I kind of like things all blended in. But then this one I, I really liked the little spots because it sort of like broke it up a bit and made it feel a bit more interesting. And I feel like you could make something like like a flat stockinette, like say a tank top or something. It would look nice. Just, I can't, I can't even just, I don't even know what I'm saying. All right, this is a, another four ply. This is dyed by hand yarns. And this one is the color white opal. And I think I actually got, oh yeah, I bought a mohair to go with it as well. So this could make a really cute little something. It's cute. Here is hodgepodge skins. Really lovely. Beautiful pink. Again, it's got the little, I love the little like bits of fluoro just like throughout. And then more there. And then just the different little sort of colours in there. And then I got this. This one is called Gobstopper. I got it because it's called a Gobstopper. And I really love it. Like it's got these pinks and greens. And then like you go here. And then it's all like purples and blues and stuff. So I quite like that one. So it's called Everlasting Gobstopper. My mistake. Everlasting Gobstopper. Which is like 10 out of 10 the reason why I got this. So I'm not sorry. And some kids silk lace here. And by Hedgehog Fibers again. This one I got at the uh, Bendigo yarn thing. This is called Down by the River, there, and I just loved the blue and the green. It kind of made me think of like, um, I think with the label as well, because the label's like shiny, it kind of made me think of like futuristic-y, galactic-y sort of deal. I don't even know, like, but yeah, I bought two of these, so there's that. All right, so these are some yarns that I ordered before I left, um, and then they arrived when I was like gone, so I got them when I got home. So this is by Wool and Works, who is a really lovely Australian hand dyer, um, and yeah, she made this like bird collection of yarns, and I just I was just like, yep. This one was my favorite, Me as a Bird. So funny. And if you go on her Instagram, you'll see the inspirations behind it and you'll see the inspiration behind this one. But this one just had such beautiful pastel colors. I think this one is actually very similar to maybe that one? No, a bit different. Maybe this one is like the baby of these two. Like, if these two gave birth. It would be like this one. So there's that. I also got the um, the mohair to go with it. So that's the mohair. Do I get any more? No. I really don't remember what I ordered anymore. Like I don't know anymore. But I got one of those, one of those. I got me as a bird again, but this is a Suri. So it's like a beautiful alpaca, alpaca yarn. And it's a lot fluffier. So you can see it's a lot fluffier than the um, silk there. And it looks a lot thicker. That's another Suri. Oh, it is thicker because it's a fingering. <laughs> it's a fingering weight. Ooh. And then I got more fingering Suri. 
This one is called Roller, which was the other colour, which is really, really beautiful. And I got two of those. I think I haven't really looked at these colours, but you can see how they're sort of like kind of different. Like there's so many like beautiful colours in these and pastel-y and I really dig it. I do not know what I'm going to make with all this fingering story. But I said earlier, like, I just got obsessed with um, mohair and then I got obsessed with suri silk and now I'm obsessed with, like, the um, cashmere stuff. So, yeah. And this is suri silk again, but this is a lace suri silk. You can see there. Beautiful. And that's a pink. It's not as bright as the other pinks I have here, like that. Um, it's a bit more muted, but it's still really, really nice. And it's so beautifully soft. So because it's a lace, I can hold, I'll probably hold it together with something and make like a really fluffy something. I don't know, maybe like a fluffy jumper or something, like a cute... Um... Yeah, no idea. If you guys have suggestions on what to make with any of this stuff, I have a few ideas. I swear I buy the yarns knowing what I'm going to make with them and then later on I just have them for so long and I'm like, why did I have this? Why did I buy it for? And I just have all these like yarns. I'm just trying to pick up all my yarns at once. <laughs> but like, these are the yarns I've accumulated. So... I really should go on a bit of a yarn ban, but also there is another yarn festival coming up. Yarn festival, yarn, what is it, show? Yarn, I forget what they're called. There's just going to be a lot of yarn to buy, so, um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. Ooh. So, yeah, those are all the yarns that I've acquired. <laughs> Now I did say I was going to talk about this top. So this is Ching Fiber again. I'm going to see. So um, it was this colour yarn. I've got a ball left because I bought two skeins of this. And then I made this vest. Originally I was going to make this a cardigan. And then I undid that because it was becoming too complicated. And I just wanted a really easy pattern because I need to get through my yarn stash. So this is just a vest, like a really simple vest here. Um, and it is, yeah, it's really nice and it's really soft. I decided on a vest because I watched the, um, I watched the Emma Chamberlain video where she was showing all her vests. She's like, I love a vest. I'm like, yeah, I love a vest too. So I just started making a vest. So yeah, I should mention this is the Melted Suri by Ching Fiber. And it's like a beautiful fingering weight yarn, kind of like this. Um, in this version, but it's might not be as fluffy. No, I'm not too sure. But this is that hat I mentioned earlier that I was making, and this is what I made on my trip. I wanted like a really easy pattern to make. I actually started this hat in February, and it was a Justin Bieber hat that I think like I've mentioned a few times. But basically, yeah, I I just I made the hat because I just wanted like an easy pattern as well like if I was going out and I just wanted to like have something to knit on the tube or the bus or whatever I just wanted and I just wanted something easy this was really easy pattern and that's what I did uh, it took me forever I think I finished it when I got home um, and blocked it and did all that so that's that and I'm pretty happy with it this one there's no pattern really but because I plan on making like another one, maybe not this exact one, but a similar one with those yarns that I'm trying to find here. Maybe the orange one, I reckon. I'm thinking of doing a pattern, like just a YouTube pattern of knitting this, but with this. So if you guys like want to see that, definitely let me know in the comments below and I can do that because I definitely do want to make like all these fluoro hats. I don't know. I, I, I like them. I'm like into it. Over the weekend, I actually did make myself a little top that I've had in my 
a, a pattern I've had in my stash for a while. It's the Meiju Look Top by Ocean Knits. Um, yeah, I've had it for a bit and I was really excited to make it. So yeah, I made this. I haven't done the other strap and it's sort of meant to go around like so, but I actually messed up and I made it I usually go, I just make the smaller size of things, like for me, if I see a pattern, I'm, I just know I'm like the extra small and I'll just make that immediately. So my own fault, didn't swatch, didn't anything, I think I made like the extra extra small or extra 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 small, but it's um, I think just around like the back here, it's not, it doesn't really come around. And you can definitely do like a corset style sort of um, top thing, like a corset back, but even then I think I think this just only sits at the sides here, like on either side. It could come in a bit more. I don't know yet, but I might make another one. Um, it's really easy as well, so if you guys are like, interested in making it, definitely do. It is also what yarn is this? So I'm using a cotton yarn. This is a cotton. It is by Love Swool. They have like really great yarns. If you're in Australia, go check them out. And yeah, so that's like something else I made. But I'm still deciding whether or not to make another one. I'll do the corset thing, I think. Try it on and see if I like it. If I don't, I'll just make another one. Like it's pretty, it's a pretty quick knit. So I think that would be fine. God, I feel like I've rambled on for quite a bit now. So that's all of the yarns that I got. And yeah, please definitely send suggestions for patterns down below in the comments. I just, like, I love my collection. At the same time, now I'm feeling anxious because I've got so much. These are my first world problems. So what am I going to do? But yeah, thanks for sticking with me, guys. And thanks for watching this video if you're here now. Let me know what you'd like to see. I think I haven't really made videos because I'm sort of like, does anyone, like, really want to see all these things. I do want to try and like get back into making more videos for like my patterns and stuff but I've actually started if you do or if you have purchased one of my patterns um, more recently like this year then you'll see I've actually incorporated video tutorials within those patterns so that's why I've lessened a bit on making like whole videos on one pattern um, but if you do enjoy like still seeing like just me knitting up a pattern or sort of talking about it a bit yeah let me know that as well in the comments yeah let me just let me know what you'd like to see because yeah i can get really distracted and really caught up so if i know like exactly what you guys want that way like i can like show you the stuff you want to see um but yeah so anyway uh thanks again for watching and i will see you guys next time bye